You see everybody making videos that are getting 300,000 views, 500,000 views, 1 million views, hundreds of shares, and booked hundreds of meetings. But how can you do it too? My name is Josh, and I produce hundreds of pieces of content for my clients each month. I'm going to break down the exact process we use from researching to scripting to filming to editing and even scheduling so that way you can do it too. And I promise you, this entire process will lay out exactly how you can do it. It's just going to take some time and a little bit of effort, but you can do it. Let's dive in. So first, why a short form video is so important? Everyone knows that Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts is where all of the social media platforms are garnishing attention. And yes, you could spend tens of thousands of dollars each month to get a million views on a certain platform, or you could do it organically for free. So this is just off my personal channel. On TikTok in the last six months, we've gotten over a million views. On YouTube, we have almost 400,000 views. And this all equated in the last year to 40,000 watch hours. So I want you to think about this for a second with me. 40,000 watch hours. How long would it take you to conduct 40,000 one hour meetings or 80,000 30 minute meetings? That means there have been hundreds of thousands of people that have hung out with me for two minutes to 30 minutes. And that time is amazing because now they're spending an extra 30 minutes with me than I would have never been able to spend with them. And that's the power of video. Okay, views are great, time is great, but can it actually lead to results? And yes, I have booked hundreds of sales calls myself on TikTok. And some of my other clients that I've worked with have also booked calls, so it's still possible. Off of one podcast and a couple clips, this lender has already gotten three to five appointments within the week of his episodes posting. This one is crazy. One podcast did go very, very viral for him, and he ended up getting 600 people reach out to him for coaching. Now you tell me, what would that do for your business? How much would those sales calls help you? So let's break down my entire process here. Grab a notebook, open up Notion, whatever you use for note taking, because I'm gonna break it down step by step. So here's exactly what I do. First off is research, script, and batch film all of your content. If you are making clips day by day, it's probably taking you, what, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe even an hour, batch film them, script them, and then batch film them. Even if it's just an outline, it'll help you a lot. Next in your editing process, you have to make it more engaging. So you have to add captions and B-roll and stickers and sounds, all to keep the audience engaged. After that, of course, you're drafting captions that are specific to each platform, because what you write on LinkedIn might be very different than what you write on TikTok. And then of course, you are posting. So you let me know right now, today, in your head, how long is that taking you? If this is taking you more than 30 minutes per post, you need to keep watching. All right, so let's break down step by step on how I do my researching. There's a couple sources that you can use. This first one is your FAQs. If people are already reaching out to you with questions about your specific services or products, then those are content ideas. So if you get people asking, how does this work? When can I achieve results? Can it work for X, Y, Z? Those are all content ideas that you can already script out for. The next is your competitors. Who in your space is doing it the best? Better yet, who are the top 10 people who are doing it the best? And then look at their posts, figure out which of their posts are best performing and then mimic it and change it up to reflect you and your business. And then lastly, think about your customer avatar. So say for example, if you are selling luxury real estate, it's not enough just to talk about, look at this gorgeous mansion on the beach and it could be yours. You also want to make content about everything that ideal customer would like. So what cars are they buying? Where are they shopping? What are some of their productivity hacks? Where are they eating in the city? All of those help bring more people who are relevant eyeballs to your content because now you're able to cast a much wider net versus someone who is just ready to buy luxury real estate today. When really, you also wanna be pooling and fishing from people who might be looking to buy in six months, a year, two years, what have you. But your personal brand or your business needs to encompass that entire image. So here's exactly what I do for my scripts. So for me, as I make content for real estate, I wanna know who are the top creators in every single niche. So who is best for general investing or multifamily, short-term rentals, personal finance, etc. I want that entire gamut. And now I'm also going to be looking at their posts and how they're structuring it. What is their hook? What bullet points are they listing out? And what is their call to action? And then I wanna make it mine. So then I take in every single month and I create scripts for myself and for my clients. 
so if someone made a post that's saying, here's the amount of real estate that you can buy with $50,000, I wanna make my own version of that. So every single post, I have two different hook variations just in case in the editing process, I like one better than the others. So for example, here are the different types of real estate that you can buy with $30,000 or want to invest in real estate, but you only have 30 grand, here's what you can buy. And then you go through the bullet points. The first one here is buy a long-term rental in the Midwest or the South for $150,000. Number two, you can use a second home loan to then buy a vacation home up to $300,000 and then turn that into an Airbnb. And then number three, and maybe the most powerful is house hack. You can get an FHA loan, which means that you have to live in the house and make that your primary residence, but then you can put three and a half percent down to then buy something worth up to $850,000. Now just make sure you run your numbers and just make sure you have enough cash for reserves and closing costs, but you can get into a house for $30,000. Like and follow for more. So that's what I do. I batch film it, then I move on. And so that's what my script looks like. And from here, I do that for every single one of these clips that I want to make. And then I get ready to film. So what is my filming process? So first off, let's talk about equipment. Everyone wants to say, I don't have a really nice camera. How can I shoot videos? Well, newsflash, you actually don't need a really nice camera. I challenge you, spend 30 minutes on TikTok and you'll realize that the camera in your pocket, AKA your phone is actually really good. And people are getting hundreds of thousands of views just with this. So. Start with the camera that you have. Talk to the camera, deliver a message that is valuable, concise, and engaging. And then if you want to up your production value, you can start to use external cameras, mics, things like that. Some quick filming tips. The first one is you gotta be animated. If you are excited, be excited. If you are scared about something, show me that emotion because the camera will actually muffle and cut how much that emotion is portrayed. So you have to be extra as you're talking to a camera. The next thing is talk with your hands. The non-verbals on camera really help one, add motion to the video, but also really help to pull people in. It is the easiest way that you can help someone feel the gravity of what you're saying because now you have this added non-verbal element to your communication. Next is to change your background. If you have a camera with the back to say pictures here, you can now take your camera and move it and face it towards the window or face it this way. Just the subtle nuance of moving a camera makes it feel more engaging. All right, my last tip is to smile. Let's put a smile on that face. There are so many times when I see videos online and there's no emotion, there's no smile. If you're not smiling, it makes it way harder for someone to like you. It doesn't matter if what you're saying is the most valuable thing in the world, less people will be drawn to listening in because you're not smiling. So practice smiling all the time, whether you're on the phone, talking to a client, and then of course, filming videos for yourself. Just smile a little bit more. That energy is so important to be able to translate into video. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about one of the hardest parts, editing. This is arguably extremely time consuming, pretty technical, and can get confusing and overwhelming very fast. There are a few programs that we use. We use Descript, Final Cut Pro, or Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, each of these, again, are very, very technical, but I would say my favorite of the bunch, especially if you're just starting off and you're making talking head videos like this, is Descript. Forget the rest, just use Descript. And let me show you why it's so amazing. Okay, so this is Descript, and here's why I love it. Because when you drag in a video, it will actually edit your video as if you were editing a Word doc. So I'm dragging it in, I added the file. Let's pretend that loads movie magic. Bang, it loads and it will automatically transcribe your video, which means instead of looking at a crazy video timeline, thinking about, I don't know what all these things mean. You are probably in Word documents all the time. Now you can edit it like a Word document. Here's what I mean. Say for example, obviously there's a little bit of buffer right now with the share screen, but say I didn't like that first sentence. I highlight it and I press delete and it's gone. Crazy. Oh, what's going on here? Next one. Yeah, it has some pretty powerful AI tools. If you have word gaps, say you are saying something, now you're thinking, 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 and you want to eliminate that gap between that first sentence and the second sentence, you can shorten all the word gaps automatically. You can do the same for your filler words, your ums, your uhs, your you knows. It'll highlight it and you can delete them out. So if you're a podcaster, this is like, my favorite trick of them all. The next thing is short form video. So you made a long form YouTube video or you're on a podcast and you want to cut, you know, three different segments that would make great clips. Here's what you do. You can take 
any part here. Let's just say, for example, boom, 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 boom. And this is a fun clip, you know, uh, between us saying hi and doing this. Okay, so in this clip here, I'm interviewing another investor and seeing what his first deal was. So what was the first deal? And I highlight exactly the piece that I would like to make it uh, a clip. And so let's just go through here and I'm reading it. And yeah, it's a solid deal. All right, so I wanna end that clip there. I can create a new composition. Just right click and create duplicate to a new composition. Now it will actually make just a video file with that specific clip. And now if you select everything, and you want, say, captions, right? I can go in, select a menu, and I can say fancy captions, which are now put in text on the video automatically. And of course, you can change the font, the size, the position, shadows, background, all of that good stuff. And if you need to edit any of the captions on screen, you just edit the Word document. What I like about this even better is once you get into a flow of things, there's templates. This is like my, by far my favorite part. So say for example, I have the video here. I need it to make it a portrait because it's going to be a TikTok or Instagram reel. I have my templates, my master portrait video. I can drag on top of this and it will automatically crop the video, add the font that I want, add the shadows that I want, even add the color differences to it. That's my favorite. And then lastly, if you want to add B-roll or video on top of it, there's built-in stock images and stock videos, all of this. So let's say he's talking about Chicago and I want to search Chicago. Nice, I can pull this video of Chicago and I can put this right where he says Chicago. And now there's a video of Chicago. If I want to move this around, it's as simple as dragging and dropping, moving it where I want it. Or if I want it to be full screen, I can blow it up. And now when he's talking about Chicago and I can move this backwards, so this text is on top, Oops, and it's probably over here. Let's blow up this timeline. There you go. And that is how I edit videos. Of course, if you want, you can add sounds. So if you want to do a train sound because there's a train going by, you can have that and lo lo load that in. If you want, oh, as B-roll pops up, you can have that too. But this, this is my absolute favorite tool to edit. All right, and that's it. And that is my entire process, how we produce hundreds of pieces of short form video each month. So what are the next steps? First off is download all the different guides that I have linked down below. So scroll a little bit if you'd like to download my Notion template, if you'd like my recommended gear equipment list, and better yet, if you'd like 30 starter prompts to help you make content today in any industry, I'll link all of those down below. And no, I'm not selling them. It is free. And if you'd like to give me a thank you, all I ask is that you subscribe. So click that red button, subscribe on this video. And then it would mean the world to me if you could let me know in the comments below what your most valuable takeaway was. And better yet, it'll even help the algorithm push this and help more people. So I would appreciate that. And then lastly, if you got to the end of this video and you're still thinking to yourself, okay, that's the process, but that does take still a lot of time, then you can book a call with my team and see if our agency is a good fit for you. We streamline the process so that it only takes you one hour a month to then be able to post 30 days of content. And so our team handles the research, the scripting, the caption writing, the distribution and posting to platforms. So all you have to do is show up for an hour to film, review the clips, and then we do the rest. If that sounds like a solution that you're looking for, book a call with the link down below. Otherwise, share this video. I hope you found it valuable, and I will see you all on social media. Cheers.